I gotta love uh gotta love modern day shipping and and handling stuff, right? You know, it, it's funny you should say that because <laughs> you know back in the day, and I think you know once you're past your thirties, you can say back in the day because you've already <laughs> you've already survived the world for three decades. Uh okay. <laughs> shipping used to take you know ten to fourteen days for everything. Oh yeah, and you oh, were yeah. just like. Um, and you're just like, waiting. you know, you just, you know, like, hey, you know, whatever. Right. But now if you don't get your stuff, like, here's this guy again. This There's is the, the guy. culprit. This is the culprit. He's so cute. Mm-hmm. Look at him. I know. It's adorable kitty. Yeah. No. See, he's got socks. Yeah, he does. He has little, he has little booties. Anyway. Um, and now if something takes more than like three days to get to your house. Oh, you're like, pissed. You're like the audacity. I know. <laughs> If it takes more than two days, like I get upset when I get upset when it's like, what do you mean? My prime isn't next day delivery. Oh, yeah. You only got two day. <laughs> what? What? I know. I pay way less than I than I would if I paid per package. And I'm <laughs> pissed about it still. Uh, first world problems. Yeah. Anyways, guys, welcome to the daily cup of genre here on here on the Genreverse Podcast Network, wherever you get you know podcasts from, and also the Genreverse YouTube channel. Really cool place where you can find uh, great things dealing with Star Wars and or rea- uh, not reaction and or uh, episode four review just went up. Uh, Marvel. Marvel Multiverse Mayhem, unfortunately covering She-Hulk. Uh, and then, of course, you got Breaking Geek and other things, anime-related things, trailer-related things here on the on the YouTube channel. I'm Kyle. That's Manny. If you're here, you probably know what we do. We BS for about 30, 45 minutes and then call it a quit. Call it quits. But, uh, yeah. yeah, if you want to follow us, there's uh, uh, social media information down below. We have a Discord. You can find that link also in the description box uh below both on podcast and uh uh youtube side of things so how's it going manny you know not bad it's a it's a thursday it's been it's been a week I've, yeah. I've, <laughs> at work uh i'm i consider myself the duct tape that holds uh that partially holds that place together because mm-hmm. it seems like every day i have to do a different job uh but hey that's the that's the that's the life of working in a mid-market like I produce sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I'm in charge of web content. Sometimes I'm a reporter. Who knows? <laughs> um, you, I got, can't... you got a job that you're enjoying. That's yeah, what matters. It is. It is fun. Um, That's a loud has... motor, kitty, kitty. Yeah, he's um, <laughs> he, he his purr is um, he's, yeah, he's got quite a motor on him. I like, I like, I like it when cats have that. Mine are mostly quiet. Anyways, um, so um. But hats off to all of the reporters and all of the photographers, cameramen, photographers, we still call them the same thing, uh, who are covering the hurricane at the moment. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus Christ, some of the shots and some of the live shots you're doing are unnecessary. Like, we we watch them on TV and go, you guys are bonkers. This is unnecessary. And your producers who are making you go out there and do this or um, news desks or whatever are insane you yeah. know and i and i get it that some people <laughs> wanna uh y- y- you know they want they want Be that edgy. In, in the real yeah but one of these days and i never want it to happen someone's gonna someone's get gonna hit get by hurt. something yeah and it's gonna be bad and yeah. you know but it happens i hey, mean you, you gotta you gotta get- yeah, like you were just saying, got to get the shot, got to yeah, get yeah. something that sets you something that sets you apart from uh, the competition. Right. Them sweet, sweet local uh, roofing and plumbing advertising dollar competition. <laughs> yep, say, you know, you, you got to do it for sales. Um. So, anywho, and on a on now on a different topic, cat um, fight. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> well, tell tell your cat to put some boots on. <laughs> Uh, my orange one's got uh got socks. She's Aww. got booties, but not um, this one. Uh, I can ta- I can tell you finally that Hocus Pocus two mm-hmm. is just as good as the original. Really? Now that's mm-hmm. that's a big thing thing to say, man. It's just as good. 
Wow, because the the original is a is a classic. I mean, it it holds a special place in in many hearts. Yeah. So. Well, what well, what I'm saying is that it holds its own, and um, I I thought it was done well for the other one to have been, you know, just that that kind of classic TV movie, mm -hmm. and then this one to follow up as a as a Disney Plus TV like in 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 terms TV movie. And having having that that original cast come back, um, and just kind of the modern twist, of course, on on the on the people who deal with the Sandersons, it's um, mm -hmm. versus it's the nineties, <laughs> right? It's it's done it's done well, and um, I I enjoyed it for what it was, and I I thought it was a great I thought it was a great follow up, so okay. uh, I think well, I, I think tomorrow for everyone else for all I, of us all of us normies, right? I think <laughs> uh, um. I think fans are gonna, aren't going to be disappointed, and it's and that's kind of a fun thought. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just uh, that's those are my those are my quick takes on it. Um, I don't know if you've seen my review for the monsters, but um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I saw about how he wasn't allowed to make it in in black and white, so he just made it as as surreal as as possible um i saw how you called it it's a uh fan film um that, you guys can find yeah. manny's review at uh lrmonline.com um i don't know man i i haven't seen it i wanted i wanted to see it and then now that it's i don't know if it's out yet or it's about to be out it is out soon. it's, a, it's, it's out, on out now uh i don't i don't I don't necessarily know if I'm actually going to watch it. <laughs> it's it's out, just... it's out on Netflix, so you're not going to lose anything. <sighs> lose time. Time. Oh. <laughs> I, I could be watching something else. What, like anime? <laughs> or streaming. We do streaming on, on here. I've done it once. But yeah, I could be doing that. And yes, anime. My God, Manny. What is up? I'm going to convert you. Some, I hope Chainsaw Man does it because I... I can give you some other horror related things, some some oh. really super uh, cerebral, and some some gory stuff too. So like like I'm hoping I'm hoping on the 11th you get your seven day free trial for for episode one of Chainsaw Man, and then I hope it hooks you and and you stick a, stick around, because um, we'll be covering Chainsaw Man here on. Uh, the genreverse podcast network on our uh avr and avr squared series here on youtube and wherever you get your podcast from i mean it could happen because <laughs> i mean honestly uh the animes that i've been hooked on it's been immediate like yeah episode it's like yeah i'm gonna finish this series like tonight mm. that's what that's what it feels like sometimes edge runners have you given that a, a shot yet the, mm, the no. Netflix, uh cyberpunk holy crap that is that is some intense uh beautiful work from from studio trigger absolutely love it anyways you want to actually talk about an, uh, a full story it's a couple of days late technically but who actually reads or listens to N npr <laughs> no one uh so i caught this uh via uh i think it was uh superhero hype and then i followed to the to the source link it deals with blue beetle and uh i think we can say it's it's safe to say for now it's it's safe uh, i i won't even say that anymore just because things change day to they day. do that's why i said for now uh but the uh director in speaking with npr about the film uh uh was asked about uh uh the release and and uh feelings about it in relation to the shakeups at Warner Brothers Discovery, and he said, I'm not going to lie. Uh, there was concern, anger, fear at first. They told me not to worry. The film has their full support. So that came from, he's basically saying studio execs told him, don't worry, it's got their full support. And that's from uh, uh, Angel Manuel Soto. Uh, the director for uh, Blue Beetle. So, I mean, I, I kind of figured that this one was more likely safer than others, even though it was, you know, less developed than, say, uh, Batgirl. 
Um, but I, I'll say it's nice to hear this. I'm, you know, big Cobra Kai fan, so I'm excited to see Jolo in mm-hmm. in this uh, project. I don't have any affinity for the character like others, but I'm. This is one of those projects I was really hoping to see see through. So how you how you feeling about that? Him him saying he's been told it's it's got full support. His quote, full support. I hope so. <clears throat> I really do because you know the wild world that is. Um, Warner Brothers Discovery <laughs> changes daily. Uh, one day they almost have it all together, and the next day they have uh, no clue who's who is even. Nobody wants to run the show, <laughs> as far as we know. Um, Would you? I mean, like, honestly, did you, did you hear that? Did you hear that they that Warner Brothers allegedly spun its its subscriber numbers to uh, investors and and that they were weren't nearly as good as they originally were? That's a different story. Carry on. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, everyone does it, so I'm, I'm not going to point them out. Uh, in theory, Disney did it too. Um, oh yeah. But their, theirs was just more glaringly obvious. <laughs> um, but I, I I can't deny though that just you know yeah it was expensive, but the quality of products that HBO Max has had, and the, the interest that people see the value in it and say yeah I'm gonna get this with with uh, with the Game of Thrones stuff. Um, uh, even even this, there's a uh, uh, Tokyo. Um, I forgot the name of the show. Tokyo Vice. Tokyo Vice was fantastic. Um, and and then you have your Harley Quinns. You have your um, all this other like small stuff that comes out. You have all the Studio Ghibli movies on there. It is a very good streaming service, I think. Um, and uh, anyway. Um, Zolo is one of those things that everyone fan casted, and mm. I think that it's the right. It was the right choice. So, um, given what we've seen of him, you know, we both do the we both do the the Cobra Kai podcast. Um, I think that it, I'm excited that they're gonna let you know they're gonna let this go with, and and so that now we're gonna I'm gonna start seeing some familiar faces in Marvel and DC. Yeah, you know, with with blue with Blue Beetle with Neymar. Just just walk in here, Christine. Just just interrupt the show. <laughs> she just started walking in like nothing's going on. Love you. <laughs> Sorry um, about that. No, no, I mean unless you only because you said something, I knew that she was in the room. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, that's that's really the um. I, I I'm I'm enjoying the fact that our 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 time seems to be coming. You know, uh, um, America Chavez is another one, mm-hmm. um, and so um, I'm, I'm I'm having a good time with it. These aren't these aren't necessarily side characters anymore. Mm-hmm. These aren't goofy um, goofy sidekicks. These are these are actual heroes, anti heroes that that are they're probably gonna matter. We're only I, uh, I think that's nice. Only a little over a month away from uh, <laughs> Namor and. Uh, mm-hmm. Wakanda Forever. We'll see how that goes and what type what type of future he has. He's always been a antagonistic type hero in the comics. Uh, so could we see him continue continue on an anti hero type course in the MCU or or what? But yeah, you're right, man. It's so, it's good to see. So let me ask you this: Which company's gonna um, gonna nuke their character more? Warner Brothers with Black Adam or or Disney with Neymar. I don't know. <laughs> because can The Rock really be a bad guy? Or can Disney actually deliver an anti-hero? I don't know. I really don't. Ah. I think I think uh I think Na- Neymar will fit the same type of mold as a at least in this film up until maybe the very very end he'll fit the same mold as uh as like your loki and your and your thanos the the uh logical and empathetical uh villain that you can you know empathize with for for a bit i don't think they'll be able to pull off another uh uh killmonger either who you know stayed bad 
bad, quote unquote, to to the end. Um, I don't I don't know. Uh, Black Adam, though, I don't see I don't see them making the rock too much of a, a bad guy i think i think whenever they, they're like oh uh, heroes don't kill people well i do i think you i don't think you're gonna see black adam snap a neck you know what i'm saying like i don't think it'll be that that i mean level. superman already did it i yeah superman <laughs> did it but I, I don't know i don't think hopefully i mean i i hope but who knows it, it's who interesting knows? because this entire time um the rock has been uh, campaigning that you know the DC universe will never be the same that the powers are going to shift etc etc so um yeah um I, I it'll be I think it's interesting to and based on what I what I've seen especially like I've seen a little bit more of the a little bit more of the film thanks to San Diego which is not yeah. much but it's it's a it's supposed to they made it feel like it is supposed to be a darker take on the movie than what we saw in the first trailer the second trailer did a better job also at showing that yeah he's gonna he's actually going to be a, a more of a villain uh more of an anti-hero but like the black adam i grew up reading and watching in cartoons pretty freaking badass like he's a you know he's he he goes toe to toe with Shazam and Superman all the time, mm -hmm. and I mean, just right right up there with any of the top baddies really in the DCU. So I'm um, I'm and honest. Then, I'll be honest when I say I'm worried. <laughs> well, anyone, you, every time they want to do a villain movie, you should be worried. Look at the Venom movies, right? Like, look at them they're not good i know people might enjoy them but my god guys that is especially the second one let let there be carnages just yes, yeah it's garbage they literally Absolute said garbage. carnage and venom fight now figure out how to get them in the same room to fight and they went on the stupidest most ignorant dumb journey to get them in in that in that church scene to fight correct it me if if i'm awful wrong, but the way the way they did it last time the, the way they it's done in comics I'm, i haven't read too much oh, of it excuse me is um it's basically venom can't handle carnage so he has to team up with spider-man i mean essentially yeah okay. carnage is is offspring of venoms and he's way more vile way more vicious and yeah one one-on-one -on -one, neither of them could do it it was that was kind of like the whole hook of of that arc is seeing them work together because you know eddie hates peter and venom right. hates spider-man and and you know so uh we didn't get any of, we don't get any of that thank you sony you sorry sacks of shit they've like, also given oh us my more, oh no, god they've also given us morbius who's supposed to yeah, be a villain and, also and we get uh um uh craven the hunter who is a uh, an environmentalist Look, you can have there are indeed stout conservationists that are still hunters because they mm -hmm. understand the the balance the balance of it it's it's not just about value valuing life they value it and that's why they will hunt and uh, uh pay big money to make sure that the hunts happen legally and in proper areas and they they use the meat and they use the the skin or they send it to slaughter where it would be processed and they just keep the trophy part but the rest of it goes those hunters do exist but is but they still glorify hunting will sony allow craven to glorify hunting on that level if they do even if the rest of the movie is is crap i'll actually give them credit on that one I'll, I'll give you sony credit if you if you show a good good guy hunter out there just like i explained which really e exists bravo if you don't get get bent and and let's not forget they wanted to do black cat and silver sable separately and then to together and thank god that didn't come to fruition and i just don't it's for, hard don't, don't forget ahead. madam webb well madam webb's not really a, a villain though oh, I'm, just I'm, okay I'm, you just think, it's yeah. 
it's the idea that that it's hard to do i mean they wanted to do a sinister six film i think they still want to but uh it's hard to do movies on on villains if you're not willing to let them be villains Mm -hmm. I mean, really, and and it seems so hard for for them to wrap their mind around the idea of having uh, us root for for the look at the Thunderbolts team. Yeah, the Thunderbolts team is made up of mostly good guys, and some mm -hmm. of them some of them were never really truly bad. Some are brain brainwashed. Most are still really good of of their own volition, like. Yeah, man, there's there's still a, a massive, massive uh villains issue and, but why, and why is stop that? Why? making well I don't I don't know. I don't know. They they don't trust us to to rationalize it. They don't you know what I honestly believe it is? I I, I can't verify, but China is a major market and because we Amer Americans, North American uh audience, uh don't go to th theaters anymore. China holds a hell of a lot more sway and they require all crimes to be punished by the end of the film. Even if they have to sit there and put in a, uh, uh, um, a text box that says, you know, bad guy one did not get away. He was later caught by the police and sentenced to 50 years in, in prison. They do that to <clears throat> movies. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past studios wanting to make sure that their villains are are not too villainous so that it can get a, a release in china i don't and that and i don't think they they trust the audience very much they think they think you need a hero and a villain instead of an antagonist and protagonist your your protagonist does not have to necess necessarily be a good guy a good girl a, a hero they're just the the protagonist of this particular story and i i think people get too focused on good guy versus bad guy hero versus villain versus protagonist and antagonist because then it's all all about context and you know i i keep pointing to things like uh uh mel gibson and payback porter's a bad guy He's he's not a good guy at all. He he kills he kills technically innocent people that you know low level crime maybe druggy whatever whatever. The only good thing about Porter is he's dedicated to this girl who her and her herself is not the the greatest person. And it's not just the the sex work. It's who she works with and the thing the other things connected to her her work as a as a sex worker. Um, we we love movies like that. I love movies like that. And you can you could do that with with bad guys and and comics and super uh, or uh, sci-fi fantasy even. And they just they just won't. <laughs> it's um, it's it's just crazy because it's not it, it's uh it's not just a Marvel problem. It's a DC problem, yeah. and it's a Sony problem, where where by the end of the film you find the redemption of the villain, and it's like for what. Why? Like it's unnecessary. I mean, DC does it a little bit better. I think they've they've done a better job with it. Uh, Steppenwolf was an example. Uh, Dark Side is is an example. That, I mean, he didn't pan out, of course, but yeah, he was there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I think um, at least in that film, at least in Suicide Squad, before he got his own series. Um, but I guess his story is that he thinks he is a hero. Uh, Peacemaker, they did a good job with him, you know, that bait and switch, and at the end, still still being that asshole um, character, that, that was fine. But I'm I'm so sick and tired of, of Disney in particular just taking all these characters that we've, that we've read and watched in animated series and giving them those redeem, giving them redeemable qualities. Like, no, like, why? Like, they, they don't need, like, Loki's, Loki's a special case, of course. Um, but it's either they either they turn into more of a good guy or they're gone by the end of that one movie. Yeah. Thanos had a had a good arc. It was a shame that we couldn't spend more time on his on his journey to to Infinity uh, War and Endgame. He's too busy um, sitting. He was too busy sitting, but 
they let him be he was he was dedicated to his cause mm-hmm. from be, beginning to end he he was not a good good guy they stayed true to you could understand why he wanted to do it but mm-hmm. he, he was very very clearly a a ends do not justify the the means here thanos and bravo to them for for sticking that out they never they never once try to really make him uh, really that sympathetic yeah you see the touching moments between him and Gamora and you're like okay he actually feels it it doesn't change the fact that this is the the villain he is doing something very very bad regardless of how uh noble the the um goal may be we need more of that and and it's it's really hard to to tell that that story without someone opposing them and i think sometimes that that these studios just are too afraid to to let the opposing side be the good let the the opposing side be the good guy but focus on the bad guy you know mm-hmm. do it i mean come on and not everything needs to be a mega mind remember the animated movie mega mind where mm-hmm. where the hero turns out to be the villain at, at the end yep not every time we have a an anti-hero or or bad a uh, bad guy centric story does it have to be something like like that where the hero heroes go off the deep end uh, let, let bad guys be bad i mean could you could you imagine them trying to do like a green goblin movie <laughs> that this <be a> honey <sighs> project <sighs> that's we've like seen, when we, we've fox seen wanted to green do a goblins. doom movie <sighs> don't remember but there, but there is so like like characters like doom uh thanos is a good example actually uh and i'd even put magneto in that conversation those are characters that have specific viewpoints of life Mm -hmm. and anything that strays from it you're his enemy yeah And, and they can even they can even come off as with heroic qualities because you know as long as you're not against him whatever yeah and 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 i think that's kind of what makes them super interesting as well but the you know they're these that's what these these are huge characters because like i you know there are times where i was i was you know big fan of the brotherhood and and what they stand for and you understand why because of the character's background something that you and i have talked about so many times Mm -hmm. because of the character's background you understand the why he feels the way he does about segregation and pointing out a, a you know a type of, of person um absolutely so, so um but those are very very well thought out characters from from years past and and i know that we were still worried that um they might do something they're different gonna, with them they're gonna do something drastically different which is why i had mentioned uh on our show yesterday about wolverine that i think it'll end it'll end up being x23 it I just better not. Be. I'll I'm tell telling you, that. you, man. I'm te- I'm telling you, the MCU's permanent Wolverine will be Laura at X23. I'm telling. I got a. I got a feeling. Got a feeling. The worst Anyways. part is I believe you. I I know. I'm sorry, man. I really am. Um, I I really don't have too much else to bring bring up today. It's been kind of a slow news week. There's been some video game stuff. Uh, Skull and Bones got delayed. Uh, uh, recently, I know uh, stu- game studios have ad- announced that they're going to uh, be moving to the $70 price point versus the $50 or $60 price point. Told you so. I'm telling you guys, you got to you gotta make money to make stuff to sell to us. And it costs, costs money. Look for longer and longer development times. Look for a lot more microtransactions gaming will not be less expensive because it's uh some of it's available on subscription it will eventually and it's more expensive just it's as, more expensive to more buy the physical expensive. copies now because they have to sustain the streaming they're trying to sustain the the subscription stuff exactly uh exactly right you know could I've, balance I've, it all out by just do, doing it the old-fashioned way and we get our games faster i feel like i feel like um I feel like there's the same thing as the quote unquote Obama phones where <laughs> they're free phones, but everyone is actually paying for them through their 
phone plans all, through the taxes. It's all, it's all pyramid scheme, man. Basically, from, yeah. From uh, tax and government spending to uh, uh, health insurance, auto insurance. It's all people that don't use it but still buy it, spend a big money on it, and, and float everyone else. Anyways, I guess that's a good place to put a, a pin in it. <laughs> you all right, Manny? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you just, just kind of zoned, zoning off. It's early in the morning, man. <laughs> I know it is. I know it is for you. Anyways, guys, uh, L lrmonline.com every day for all entertainment news, needs, opinions, uh, leaks, rumors, written reviews. Manny's got his reviews up there for a few things, including the Munsters. Uh, uh, podcast podcasts are also available here, but that would just lead you to the write up. But if you want to just, you know, boot up your favorite app like Google, Spotify, Apple, uh, Sounder, Stitcher, all those good ones like that, uh, the Genreverse Podcast Network. Yeah, great shows like the Cantina doing Star Wars news and reviews, Marvel Multiverse Mayhem doing Marvel news and reviews, AVR doing anime reviews, and we've got the Rings of Power being covered on re uh, review of review of the Rings, uh, Daily Cog, Breaking Geek Radio, so much uh, content for you in audio format, all of that and more, including uh, game streams, uh, uh, anime reactions, trailer reactions, uh, and potentially in the future some uh, uh, video format format uh film reviews like short format you know 10 minute videos like other channels do that are more sane than us uh look look basically subscribe and you get a, a crap ton of content thanks to all 591 uh subscribers we've got so far manny anything else you want to say um no i think i think we're we're good for now um spay and, spay and new to your pets yeah i guess <laughs> All right, yeah, guys, we'll actually, talk. definitely do that. <laughs> yeah, do, do that one. We'll talk to you next time.